Oh, you got two shirts. You want? <laughs> oh, you got shirt. Oh, you. Oh, you. You might be wondering what is going on or how I got here. Let me rewind. A few days ago, I was sitting on the couch and looked up at the TV and saw this. Victims of an apartment fire, at least a dozen children still trying to find their footing after their lives were turned upside down just days before the new school year began. Eight dozens of locals are displaced after a fire tore through an apartment building, and tonight those affected are working to salvage what they can. Many of the residents tell me they had less than 60 seconds to grab what they could and evacuate safely. I don't know what am I going to do right now. So that's what think right now. Eight apartments were damaged, leaving 15 adults and 19 children displaced. I can only imagine what these families were feeling. All of their belongings completely tarnished. But what touched me the most was the 19 children that were involved in this. All of their back to school clothes were ruined. And with school starting the next few days, they had nothing to wear. This is when I saw an opportunity to make a difference. For those of you that don't know, when I was 14, I started a nonprofit organization called Clothes for Kids that give clothing to children in foster care here in Las Vegas. Nevada. Although this nonprofit exclusively helps foster children, I couldn't let this opportunity go by. So with the help of my mom, we contacted the local news station to let them know that Clothes for Kids wanted to sponsor these 19 children to replenish their wardrobe. Using Clothes for Kids' network, we partnered with Dillard's. We invited all of the families that were affected by this fire to come to Dillard's after hours to have a personalized and private shopping experience. So let's start from the beginning. Nigel. Nigel, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Somebody with the two oh, girls? Two brothers right here. Oh, you got two guys? Okay. Well, I'll go with one of them if you want to. Let's do that. Okay. What's up, bro? What's your name? Marion. Marion Nigel. Nice to meet you, man. What, what type of what type of clothes are you into? Like, what's what's your style? I don't even know what you mean. What you want to start off? You want like to look for some shirts, some like pants? What? I already got a lot of pants. I've got a lot of pants for some shirts. Okay. Like, what type of shirts you like? Dress shirts. Some what? Flannels. Some flannels, okay. I like flannels. It's kind of hot though. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of hot. You ain't gonna be able to wear that. But I mean, look, hey, you know what I'm saying? It's drip or drown, bro. Sometimes you gotta put your drip before your your health. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what you wanna do? You want flannels? Let's look at like some like some regular like tees. You know what I mean? You say you already got a lot of pants, right? But we gotta get what you want. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not wearing these clothes. What school you go to, bro? That's what's up. You play a sport? No. no? What's your favorite thing to do if you don't play a sport? You just on the game. On the game? You be playing Fortnite? I used to. You used to? You was good at that? Used to be. Used to be. <laughs> I was playing Fortnite last night. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't want to pick no clothes for you, you know what I mean? Because I, I know how I am. I can't have nobody picking no clothes for me. I got to pick them myself. I'm probably not as good as you. Uh, a little bit in my spare time occasionally i'll pick up a basketball so not not, not professional like I'm nah nah not that type of guy wasn't that good <laughs> unfortunately listen i will tell you one thing that's smart is get a lot of like neutral like stuff you can like that's versatile like so you can get a shirt that'll match with a bunch of pants you know what i mean i mean not 32 see look that's why i said you gotta do the math bro I, you feel me I ain't 24? in school no more. It's A16, 24. 24. It's only, you only got three things right now. 24. So you got, you got another, you got another, uh, what? Do the math, do the math. 50 minus 24, what is that? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know either. So what are we going to do? We out of luck? <laughs> so guys? How y'all doing? Good. Y'all find everything all right? Yeah. What'd y'all get? Let's see, let's see. What, what's, what's the best item you got? Um, I think she was happy with this one. Okay, that's a, that's a, oh, that's nice. I didn't even know they had Jordan stuff in here. <laughs> this one, the green one. Okay, I like green pants. I like green pants. What about him, what'd he get? Nothing yet. Nothing yet? Oh, you ain't found nothing yet? No. Well, let me help, let me help him out. What's up, bro? What's your name, man? Adrian? Nigel, nice to meet you, man. You found some stuff yet? Not yet? You wanna go try and find some stuff of your size? Yeah? Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Like what what what's your favorite game to play? Overwatch? I tried playing Overwatch, man, but I'm just not that good at it. Like I've tried. What what's the secret? You look like you're pretty good. The secret is that you have to know how to play as a certain type of character. Okay. Hey, look, I'll carry this for you too. 
Come on, let's go over here. Word. How long you been playing Overwatch for? Two years. Man, so since you was 11, man, you got some, you got some experience, huh? <laughs> All right, so like, what what type of clothes do you like to wear? Like, you want to look for some pants? You want to look for some shirts? I just normally like wearing plain shirts. Okay, plain shirts. Let's see. I think there's some plain shirts over here. What's your favorite color? Blue. All right, let's try and find you some blue stuff. Play uh, the game with your friends? Nah, they they not good enough to play with you. It was a great experience being able to support these families during these rough times. What happened to them was completely out of their control, but I hope we were able to give them an experience that they will never forget. So huge shout out to Dillers for donating their space after hours, and shout out to Living Word Church, which is my church, who actually helped to purchase some of these clothes for these families. And lastly, thank you to everyone who continuously supports clothes for kids. We wouldn't be able to do it without you.